In this video, I will give you a quick comparison between AppMySite versus AppPressor and tell you which of these tools may be best for you and your needs. So go for what exactly they do, who they are for, and ultimately which one I would pick. So both of them allow you to turn a website into a mobile app, and with AppPressor it's specifically a WordPress website, whereas with MySite they do also focus on WordPress and WooCommerce, but also web-to-app, custom apps, and then soon also Shopify. So if you don't have a WordPress website, then AppMySite will automatically be the better option, since this can convert any website. Now, if you do have a WordPress website, whether that's a normal WordPress website or you have a WooCommerce store, then you can still use both of them, but they are quite different. Now, looking at their pricing for at my site, you can see they have three different options, paper app, unlimited workspace, or an agency white label plan. That really depends on what you want to do. Paper app is ideal for creating and managing one app at a time. Then unlimited is to manage unlimited apps and agency is to launch your white label app development business. So if you have an agency that develops apps, you should go with this one. If you want to develop a bunch of apps, then this one. But for most people, the pay per app plan will be fine. And this starts at $49 per month. They do also have a free plan. Now, if you pay monthly, it's $69 per month. Or for WordPress, for example, you can see it's the same. And they already have unlimited downloads. You can turn WordPress into your app or any of these other ones. And they also have more premium plans. With yearly, you can save a bit of money. And you can also choose to pay lifetime, which means you will need to pay quite a high price upfront. But basically, you can get started for, if you want to pay monthly, $69 per month. Now, on AppPressor, if you also want to pay monthly, it starts at $79 per month. And this is for one app as well. And then their most popular plan is Professional, which is $99. And Advanced is for two apps at $149. So who should pick at my site and who should pick AppPressor? In my opinion, for basically 90% of people, at my site is the better option. And I'll explain for who exactly. So I would go with at my site if you just want a no-code affordable solution that allows you to turn your WordPress or whatever type of website into Android and iOS apps. And if you prefer native app features such as push notifications and offline mode without coding, then if you want direct WordPress integration, so it auto syncs your website content even after creating the app. And if you're just looking for the easiest to use solution. Now, on the other hand, there are certain people who I would recommend AppPressor for, which is for if you are a developer who wants full WordPress plugin customization, if you need deep WooCommerce app integrations for more advanced stores, and if you require custom JavaScript and API connections. So bottom line, for about 95% of users, I would go with at my site because in my opinion, it has better value with basically instant apps and it's easier to use. And then AppPressor, in my opinion, is really just for developers who need code level control. So if you would like to try at my site, you can get started with it completely for free through the link down in the description. If this comparison of at my site versus AppPressor was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.